right now on News Channel 5. Right now, we are learning that a Treasure Coast man, Monair Abu Saleh, is likely the first American ever to be involved in a suicide bombing in Syria. The 22 year old is believed to have taken part and was killed in last Sunday's attack. He once lived in Vero Beach, disappeared, and resurfaced in war torn Syria. Now, terrorism experts telling us how someone like him could be lured into such an act. Megan McRoberts, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, is live in Vero Beach with that story. Megan. Well, people who knew Abu Salah here at his family's Vero Beach neighborhood say over recent years they did notice him changing, even alienating himself, but now wonder why the once seemingly normal teen could change so drastically that he would fall into the ranks of radicals. During the Syrian civil war, intelligence experts say an American, Monar Abu Salha, was involved in this suicide bombing Sunday, believed to have been carried out by an Al Qaeda linked organization. An unexpected ending to his life for those who knew him. I wonder if he was just looking for acceptance. A family friend tells us the former Sebastian River High student left the country unexpectedly at least a year ago, distanced himself and rarely spoke to family, but months later sent an email saying he was doing okay and was happy. I think that in general, I think some people end up going and they want acceptance and maybe somebody took advantage of of what his needs were. Former CIA operative Brad Robinson says it is becoming easier for terrorist groups to recruit someone like Abu Salha, even from thousands of miles away. It's probably not unlikely that 95% of his recruitment took place over the internet. Chat rooms and online bulletins allow easier contact. This is the new trend in, in recruitment, something that didn't happen 10 years ago. Meeting face to face only when the recruit travels to their turf. Men devoted to Islam, much like Abu Salha was, according to his social media page. It's happening all over the country, probably much more so than most people realize. And intelligence experts will continue to investigate just exactly how he may have been recruited and become a part of that deadly bombing. In Vero Beach, reporting live, Meg McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. As investigators continue to interview Abu Salah's family, Florida lawmakers say more needs to be done now to prevent this from happening again. Democratic U.S. Senator Bill Nelson says this attack is a warning for all Americans. I think it's uh, emblematic of the new world that we live in, but it's especially sensitive whenever it is Americans involved. Nelson says the FBI will release more information after a full investigation is complete. Stay with News Channel 5 on air and on WPTV.com for more on this developing story. We'll continue to follow the investigation and bring you any new details on our news app.